Hey, what's happening, gamers? Welcome back to Spider-Man on the GameCube. Yes! Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, because it's Spidey time, kids. Today, we're going to be facing the Vulture. So in the comment section below, tell us your favorite Sinister Six villain from Spider-Man and why they're your favorites. Apparently, this Vulture drops grenades because reasons. Grenades! Excelsior! Grenades Excelsior? That's a new one. It's a really big tower in the middle of New York. Never seen that before. Either that or Spider-Man truck. This is some nest. Really? This That's is no cave. Climb Vulture's Tower. I hate this level. I remember this level. Vulture has a nest? Weird. Kind of? So he's some kind of freak. Yep. And he has a freak that loves booby traps. So we're gonna need to web zip a little bit. I hope this is a warm enough welcome for you, insect. <laughs> oh, Vulture's mean. Well, he's a crabby old man, so. Oh my gosh, I'm forever gonna see Michael Keaton as Vulture now. This guy was first, and he is comic book accurate Vulture. Bald head, green tights. Michael Keaton is bald, kind of. No, he's not. <laughs> Well, I mean, he's close to it. <laughs> Michael Keaton's probably going to be in the next movie, too. Really? Why? Because the Vulture slash Batman is amazing. That's why. <laughs> oh, yeah. Before I forget, uh, there are grenades that come after you. There are spider robots, which is weird that Vulture would have spider robots. And he's added lots of explosions uh, all over the place as you're trying to climb up this massive bird tower in the middle of New York nice. City. That explodes, too. See? But has he hired a security guard for his tower? No, probably not. That is where he fails. Because the guy would just eat donuts and stuff. I would. I would just sit there and eat donuts. Yeah, that would actually be pretty But good. you took your job way seriously. I told you I wanted to be a hero because mm -hmm. I couldn't be a police officer, so I thought, you know, something That's cool. very sweet. In my Today you die, Spider-Man! So, you've been lobbing grenades all the time, and one does that? This guy has a weird outfit. Ah, yes. The old swinging lug of doom trick. That one never gets old. Okay. Did you just get hit by the swinging log of doom? Uh, maybe. Wow, that's pretty sad there, Spidey. Okay, tell me that's an outfit that's not really his body, like, deformed by, like, DNA. Oh, that's his costume. Okay, good. And, yes, he is really that bony and old. Geriatric villain man. Why, if he's that old, why would he want to be a super villain? I don't know. I mean, it pays well to be a thief for a while. Until you get caught. Yep, bomb bomb. And then you can just stash your gold somewhere and tell your friends. <laughs> uh, oh, I thought of something funny I could say, but I don't think a lot of people would get it. I hid my entire treasure crazy bird man's hideout from in one piece. Uh. uh, so this is Quasimodo's base. Whoa! Whoa! Easy. Oh, that's right! You can actually uh, get items by hanging underneath them, even if they're above you, in this game. No other Spider-Man game would let you do that, but for some reason, when you were underneath it, like, hanging below it, Sometimes the game would recognize it as you picking it up. Even though there's no physical way that you could actually get an object through solid matter, with this game, it does that. Yeah. So I would advise using that. I feel like I should leave a trail of breadcrumbs or something. Uh huh, because he's a bird, I get uh, it. Good one, Spidey. Or if you're in. It's a mad, 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 mad world, you'd say, I hit it under a big W. <laughs> I don't really That's remember an that movie. Old movie. Yeah, it is. I saw that with you a couple times. Yeah, it's one of the few movies that I watch multiple times from the public library. Yeah, I can see <laughs> why not many people took that out. <laughs> it was okay of a movie the first time. It was a time. long movie. It was, it was like five hours. Movie. There's a movie I want to see with you that's kind of like that called Cannonball Run. Um, and Jackie Chan was in one of them. It was like one of his first American movies. But I've never been able to find it. Not on DVD, anyway. Do you know how that movie ends, though? Well, maybe I shouldn't spoil it for people. Well, actually, no one's gonna watch it. 
But uh, that Mad 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 World movie is like the police officer, because he doesn't get his retirement, he ends up stealing all of the money. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it had like a twist ending, and that's where one of the what a twist came from. So, uh, this aviary of doom thing, it's kind of annoying to navigate. The best way that you can go about it is sometimes Vulture will blow stuff up so you can, you know, yeah, run around. There's no way to get anywhere right now. No. There's... Vulture is so it's so weird to me. It's like oh. watching a like it's like watching Elvis on on stage after his prime. It's like it's like a person that should be really in nice retirement Who's your landlord, years. Vulture? Quasimodo? I love that line. <laughs> It yeah. does feel like Quasimodo is just going to show just, up randomly. It's weird. It's like he's too old to be a supervillain. Too old to begin the supervillainy. <laughs> uh, yeah. I think this is right. Yep, this is it. I th the be nope. Wait. Hang it. Nope. Yeah, this is right. We're so basically we're doing well. Uh, Vulture's of. powers being super annoying. Uh, I thought it was throwing grenades in this game. I guess. Okay, so then this way. No so, spider compass again, because apparently mm -hmm. spider sense doesn't work for old people. Yeah. So, if you guys didn't know, like, Luke was telling- ah! Well, everyone probably already knows this, but this movie came out around the same time as the movie released. That's why it's called a movie tie-in game. Well, I- yeah. And they don't really do that anymore. I know. This has some of the coolest music in the game, and it's only used for this level, so it doesn't work. Like, this is something that you would want while you're, like, web-slinging through the city. I know. But, like... It's like, oh, we're in this weird, rickety place. We're in this, uh, Birdman retirement home. <laughs> we're slowly... With lots of bombs and grenades! Up the stairs. Stop that! <laughs> it's old people's biggest weakness, so oh he thinks gosh. it... Oh my gosh. Stairs, old people's weakness. Yeah. If Spider-Man wanted to uh, be a danger to Mr. Vulture, he could just pull a stroller out from under him. <laughs> Oh, that's kind of dark, sorry. Oh, I'm being- I'm wearing the black suit again, Amber! And the know. symbiote is doing things to my mind! Suit. I don't think the black suit's gonna be in the PS4 Spider-Man game. I think people are kind of annoyed by that, but there's lots of great Spider-Man costumes that'll be in the game. Maybe they're saving, yep. like, the symbiote stuff for the sequel. Because I don't think Venom's gonna show up either. Yeah. Okay, well, how do I get that? Jump! Yeah, I, I didn't jump, and I still got it. You know what? It doesn't matter. Now we just have to... I don't know how you're supposed to get through this. Is this supposed to be like a giant... Uh, what is that thing that Penguin has? That Aviary of Doom? Aviary! Of Doom! Of Doom. Alright, so... Why do I get back up again? I needed that health or we were gonna die. And like I told you, there's no checkpoints in this game, so... Yeah. Yep. Uh, we have to navigate this and avoid all the explosive grenades because apparently old people come packing with grenades. Ow. I would if I was old because that's the least amount of effort you have to take somebody out. You know what I'm amazed by? Like, how accurate his grenade throwing is, though. Like, I mean, I it is, like, super accurate. Maybe he has, like, a grenade launcher? That's like kind of like a nerf Why gun. Why did the music stop random? Okay, now the music's back. Well, okay. That's weird. Maybe it stopped because I said something awesome. Maybe. A dramatic pause. Okay, so impact webbing won't work for that. And why does he have spiders coming after you if he's a vulture? Wouldn't he have little vultures come after you? That's what I would- yeah, he needs to have bird enemies, exactly. That why makes more sense. Why would he have spider sense. enemies? You should have spider robots working Remember, for you. Remember uh, the superior Spider-Man, Doc Ock, and Peter's body, like, made, like, spider robots? Okay, yeah. Yeah, that was a weird time in comic books, but I, I liked uh, the superior Spider-Man costume and the fact that he used robots like his uh, octopus arms to do some cool stuff. We need more health or we're gonna die and have to do this all over again. Oh, I think the Vulture really needs to take a page from uh, Penguin and actually make some more... Ta-da! He needs bird-themed enemies. Bird-themed henchmen, bird-themed bat... Exactly. Yeah, all kinds Penguin of fun stuff. Penguin has his bird theme down. Penguin has his priorities. Exactly. I mean, Vulture is... Oh, just, just lobbing grenades If and, those grenades were shaped like birds... They look like eggs. Now that... Yeah, if they're eggs, then uh, that goes with a bird theme. Yeah, if it's eggs, it works. Please he's so... Hello! He's so please don't hurt me. Old, it's like, wow. I dude. said please! 
You didn't make enough, uh, it, your thief, like, thing that you had. Ooh. I mean, you would think that as a thief, he Ow. would retire by now with his lump sum of gold. Well, you know. It just shows he wasn't very good at his job if he has to work while he's in his 90s. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. I mean, not that people who work in their 90s are bad. I'm just saying thieves that work in their 90s Doesn't are Doesn't Betty bad. White still work? She's, like, in her 90s. Yeah, but I'm saying if you're a thief, yeah, I guess she likes- some people like to work. Actually, I actually found out that Grandma's only 93, and Betty White is like 97. What? I thought your Grandma was 97. I know! I thought she was much older I've than she was, I've been telling everyone she's 97. Uh, we won't tell her that we thought she was 97, though. I'll tell her that she looks not a day over 90. That's one heck of a doorbell vulture's got. <laughs> That's considered a doorbell? That's... Oh, I get it. It's a bell. Uh, it's but a... it's not on a door. Mm. Must be a pain to get groceries up here. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. That's funny. Ah, pest! Why can't you leave me in peace? Okay, that... You'll have plenty of time alone once you're in jail. That would break every bone in his body because he's old. He's gonna take that old guy to jail? How oh, heartless, Peter. I hear it's Jello night! Oh my gosh, they don't have Jello in jail, do they? Yes, they do. I'm pretty sure they have TV. That way you too. can't hide like a hacksaw or any dangerous stuff in there because Jello is see through. Wow. I want more Jello now. Never know what you're trying to feed me. So you get Jello and TV and a couch in jail. You get a couch now? Wow. Well, I think it depends on what type of... Jail. You have to go to white class, uh, white, white collar prison. You don't want to go to blue collar prison. You gotta what commit about, like a high society crime. What about orange hey, color? Vulture, didn't your mother ever teach you that stealing is wrong? You're too persistent, web slicker. These gems are insured. The only injured party here is you. In a moment. Uh, did Vulture get another voice actor? Because before he sounded like a decrepit old man, and now he's like an angry British gentleman. Hey, actor? Hey, come back! The food at the old folks' home wasn't that bad, was oh, it? Oh, that's a good singer. Ouch. See, Toby. This is why I always say Toby was a good Spider-Man because, like, oh yeah, in the movies he was kind of stiff as a board, but when it came to playing the character in other media, he like really excelled. Like, he's a very believable Spider-Man for me. Oh, I thought you were going to say he was a good Spider-Man because of that weird dance he did. No, I... <laughs> if I <laughs> could copy movies, I would, like, remove that scene. A few... You couldn't just leave this a personal disagreement, could you, Baldy? I'll settle with Vulture after I stop that side Okay, so this is a part of the game where you have to rescue civilians from impending doom. Uh, both Vulture, Green Goblin, and other characters will destroy things. And I won't get hurt? Sorry, I'm a glutton for punishment. <laughs> way to go there, Petey. So, yeah, that's the only way you can really fight Vulture at this point. It's like you stay uh, up with him, kind of like the Venom Chase level or the Scorpion level from the Spider-Man 2000 game, except now they've added actual hazard for Those civilians. Look thirsty, don't oh, they, wow. Why don't I serve them a drink? <laughs> I think the folks down there are wet enough already. Uh-oh. And this is time, too. Please, web shooters, don't fail me now! Wait, no! No! My web shooters failed! I'm sorry, people! Spidey! Wow, the cars are still moving, even though they just got flattened. They a, probably should have animated that a little bit better. It's a miracle. It's a miracle that they got flattened? No, it's a miracle that they could keep moving even though they were supposed to get flattened. Mm. Yeah, that's true. You can repair things that Vulture is hey, damaged. Vulture, yep. didn't your mother ever teach you that stealing is wrong? You're too persistent, web slicker. These gems are insured. I think it's a glitch in the Matrix. Yeah. Like I said, no checkpoints. Yep. So, we just have to... I think he knocks over three or four things, and we have to prevent them from falling, and then that's it. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, I was just thinking, what if you took every deleted, like, every scene that you should have deleted from every movie and combined them into one horrible movie, but then every other movie became better? 
Like, you could take that dance scene. <sighs> yeah. What's it going to be, Spider-Man? A few jewels or innocent lives? You couldn't just leave this a personal disagreement, could you, Baldy? You really I like that conversation, don't you? You said I'm not supposed to talk during cutscene. The first time. <sighs> oh. So if you could take the... <laughs> So, if you could take the scene from Spider-Man 3 and then combine it with every scene with Charger Binks and then take, like, a bunch of other horrible scenes What's from movies. But then you have one horrible movie that's with every bad cutscene from every movie ever. And then you'd have to sit there and watch it for two hours. I'm gonna blame that on Jar Jar Pink's discussion. Uh, I'm sorry. No, it's fine. But then all the other movies would be better. What would you do? Would you sacrifice two hours to watch every horrible cutscene in the world hey, Vulture, if it made every other movie better in the universe? Is wrong? I guess. I would too. It would be worth it. It would be a sacrifice, but it would be one for humanity's sake. <laughs> oh, man. I'm just determining whether I should put Queen Amidala in that or not. Mm. Vice of Roy. Yeah. I'm trying to think of other horrible movie scenes that should have been deleted from movies. Mm. Does anyone know any scenes that were as bad as that dance scene in Spider-Man 3? Or every scene with Jar Jar Binks in Star Wars? Which dance scene are you talking about? The Saturday Night oh. Strut? Or the one where uh, Gwen Stacy is there and he's like... Uh, both of them. Yeah, actually. both of those scenes are incredibly awkward they and I, I want them to die horrible deaths. Yep, totes. Huh? Why are you not knocking down the sign, dude? So let us know in the comments below what awkward scenes from movies you would delete in any movie ever. This will slow the pest down. Oh, he went a different way. I'm gonna go with innocent you lives. Just leave this a personal disagreement, could you, Baldy? Oh, I have, I have an idea of what I would delete. The people would be mad at me. I would delete those stupid aliens from Toy Story that they're like, You saved our lives, What's we're eternally man, grateful. Nobody, those nobody likes those stupid hey, aliens, they're back. annoying. They do. The old what are you bad, talking about? They're just dumb, they just say the same things over and over again. I would those delete. people look thirsty, don't they, Spider-Man? Why don't I serve them a drink? I think the folks down there are wet enough already. You know, because it's raining. Oh, I see. Okay, I didn't... They're thirsty. Why don't I serve them a drink? Maybe you get them a cat bowl. A very big cat bowl. All right, so we made it past that point. Uh, how many more times are you going to knock over stuff, Mr. Old Man? Is he done? I don't remember how many times he knocks things over. That's the thing that's really bothering me about this game is... My... My own memory, I just can't Sorry, trust it. I'm a glutton for punishment. But... <laughs> I should have waterproofed my costume. Bless you. Bless you. See, that was funny. That Ow. is funny. He made up you funny. You haven't got a chance of catching me. Go home, kid. I can't do that. What would my adoring public think? You have an adoring public? This is the first movie. They don't like you yet. I think he just got meta on us. Away from me that I think he means Spider-Man is adored by the public. No, Spider-Man wasn't adored by the public in the first movie either. Wait, you mean you mean I mean the iconic character of Spider-Man? You think he was going fourth wall with that statement? Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll give you that one. That's okay. That spider hanging there is creepy. Yeah, I. I don't want to tell you anything. What? What? Nothing. It, it's like that one day that that happened, the live stream, we were playing this game and then a spider just happened to show up. Huh? Never mind. It's too weird. Wait, are you talking about like recently this month? Mm hmm. Defeat the Vulture. That's weird. I remember this now. So webs uh, stuff will hurt him. And then when you beat him up enough, he lands on the roof and you have to punch him in the face. Pretty easy boss, actually. Unless you're playing on hero mode, which I don't advise. So how is Vulture flying in the rain when his feathers get damp? You damaged my beautiful wings. You have a lot of pep for someone your age. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's funny. 
That's, a, that's so Batman wrong. Batman is too, so rude to the elderly. I guess if you commit a crime, he's not going to be very courteous to your feelings. How does he think he can fight somebody when he's 90? When do we get to meet Stan Lee? Set prepare to meet your maker. Oh. <laughs> I was trying to go fourth wall, too. Oh, that's funny. Though. Thank you. Yeah, he's a really easy boss, though. So. Come on, old man. You have a lot of pep for someone Okay, you're just going to repeat one-liners? That's lame. Come on! Make fun of his, like, really weird-shaped head and costume. Um, you guys, I think it's, like, s lightning -y out. We should go indoors. Yep, kids, time for you to go inside. You know what he looks like? He looks like that one guy who always tries to hurt the Smurfs. Gargamel? Yeah. Yeah, kind of he does. Doesn't look anything like Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton's vulture was like epic. This vulture, Adrian Toomes. If he, uh, if Michael Keaton could have done the vulture like centuries before he did, it would have been better because he made the vulture so much better. You want to know what I find funny? People were talking about Easter eggs in the Spider-Man thing. When you and I were in the theaters and we saw Vulture go up to the moon and come back down, immediately we said that was a callback to the 89 Batman movie. Oh, but it took yeah. everybody else so long to get that. Oh, yeah. We did They're say now that. just making articles about it. Of course, because he is Batman. Yeah, of course we said that. We noticed it when we saw Homecoming, though. I think we even tweeted it. I know. I cannot believe we're like, we're so far ahead. And yes, I know a century is a hundred years. I just meant like, if if Michael Keaton could have been Vulture way before. It's just, this guy is lame. It's like, They couldn't what? have done a live action Spider-Man movie until CG though, because oh. how would you do his web slinging? How is this guy intimidating, being all bony and old? He's not really intimidating, I mean... Then why are we fighting him? Maybe we should just let him fly free. He's, he's why is your wing smoking? I mean... He's not hurting anyone. I don't understand how he's smoking. I don't understand how he's flying Ow. in general. Uh, flapping his wings. I didn't even know if that was possible. Like, I thought that people tried to do that a long time ago and it didn't work out. Also, what do those rays of light in the sky represent? Like, are the aliens coming? It doesn't look like rain pour at all. And wait, where did the rain go? Is it still raining? But humans can't flap, cannot make Ooh. wings. Ooh, a combo. Another combo. But humans can't make wings out of feathers and fly. It's like aerodynamically impossible because our bones aren't made hollow Ow. like birds' bones. So we're like heavier than birds. All right, now the rain just happened to come back. That was weird. Easy there, Mr. Vulture. Did he just make a vulture call thing? He can I think he it. did. Is he really good at imitating bird voices, or...? Yep, I would or say maybe, so. Maybe he has Aha! Machine to do it. You punk. You're the punk! You just slammed into me with your weird bird costume. Show some common know, courtesy. This bird costume is really lame. He looks like a ballet dancer doing, like, Swan Lake with his Alright, let's costume. put this old man to pasture. Later, old man! Where are you gonna take- you should take him instead of jail. Take him to the nursing home. It's pretty much the same thing. Now, Vulture, you can't go around taking things that don't belong to you. What kind of example does it set for impressionable youngsters out there? <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Come on, old-timer. Wouldn't want you falling before we can book you, right? <laughs> why is that funny? And why yeah, is the security funny. officer, like, arresting someone? I know. Okay. But think about it like this. In the nursing home, you are not allowed to leave, and you have to have horrible food, and you never get visited, usually. So mm. it's the same thing as prison. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm just being real here. Wow. Is there a difference? Tell me if there is one. I uh, see none. I, I don't know. I would say the food is probably about the same. Okay. That's why I plan on never going there. Well, I'll take care of you as long as I'm around here. But anyway, people, I think uh, this is... I think we did pretty well today. That was a lot of fun fighting Vulture. Yay! It made me appreciate Michael Keaton's role a lot more. 
Because, I mean, we already loved Keaton's role. Yeah. Uh, but this is what the comic book vulture looked like, and he was just really weird. He's dumb. But I uh, hope you guys are enjoying Spider-Man 2002. Reminder, on Woo-hoo. September 7th, we'll be playing Spider-Man on the PS4, showing you Woo-hoo. all the DLC, all the costumes, and all the story and free roaming goodness that you're going to want to know about. Plus, oh, yeah. doing like kind of like spider lore and all that fun stuff. But um, have a great rest of your day. Thanks so much for watching another Spider-Man series on K-Wings Let's Plays. And, again, tell us your favorite Sinister Six villain in the comment section below. God bless and happy gaming. See y'all.